In the last video, we made an outdoor gazing ball using polystyrene, which made it quite light. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a concrete one, which of course will be heavier. Now there's different ways you can create a gazing ball for outside. And whichever one you choose, I'm sure that you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of mosaicing it and having it sitting in the garden. So anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you that right now. The items I use for this project are scissors, a sharp knife or something sharp to pierce the plastic ball quite safely, cement mixture, protective gloves, a bowl with soil or sand in, P2 or an N95 protective mask to protect yourself from the silica dust from mixing the cement mixture, a plastic ball, I used a 20 centimetre plastic ball but you can use any size that you want to uh, mosaic over, cross filament tape, I used a 35 mil wide, and a large plastic bottle to cut in half. I used a five litre and a two litre may work, but you just need to make sure the mixture can go through the actual throat of the bottle. Okay, I have my plastic ball here and I've created a divot inside the soil. Now you can use sand as well, but you want it to sit nicely. So the ball sits nicely within that because if you have any lumps or bumps, it's gonna show up in your concrete, which is not a major thing. It doesn't have to be completely round. And this ball is just an ordinary type of plastic ball. It's I don't know, my little princess unicorn or something like that. Now what we're going to do is put the hole where the air goes into up the top and I'm going to use bi-directional filament tape. And I don't know whether you can see that, but it comes in a roll like this. And we're going to lay that over the hole like that. So we're gonna use three pieces. Those two and then that there. Now the idea of this is once you cut the plastic, some plastics can really run. It's like a polypropylene film. So what this tape is going to do is help stop that from happening because it's got uh, fibers throughout it and they run this way and this way, it will help stop that from running, the, the cut that we put in it from running through the plastic. Now I'm gonna actually put another piece in there very quickly because I didn't um, put it in the right area. So there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna puncture it now and we're gonna use a sharp knife, or reasonably sharp, keep our fingers away. And the area out. We're gonna cut like a cross in the plastic like that. A reasonable size, but not overly big. And we'll take that piece off, because we don't want that. So we're just gonna create up some flaps there. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna get our half container. Now I've used a five litre, but you can probably use a two litre, as long as the opening is large enough because we're gonna put the concrete, uh, the concrete, the cement into here. It's gonna come out through here and inside the ball. So now what we're gonna do is open those flaps up and put it over the top of the opening of the container. This actually how distilled water this container. Now we're gonna get the bits of tape that I've got here, some more. I'm gonna stick that down. It doesn't have to be exact. Well, that's a big piece. And that piece goes there. I'm gonna stick it down like that. That will probably be enough. That's pretty well right. That's all attached. So what I'm gonna do now is make the cement, pour it in through there and we'll be right. So I'll be back in a minute with the cement. Oh, that was lucky. I started pouring it without having the camera on. Okay, so I've poured in one lot. So I'm just going to show you now. I'm just going to get some in this container and I'm just gonna pour it in there. Give it a slight shake and it is liquidy, which means it should go in without a problem. Pour in another one. Make sure you mix up a big enough batch too. There's nothing worse than 
not having enough. It's a bit like grouting, really. Just pushing that through a bit. I don't want to shake it around too much because I, I don't want to disturb the I don't want to disturb the actual um, soil. And if you're using sand, then you don't want to disturb that too much. So put in another one. It's going through nicely. Don't you just love working with messy things? It's like grouting. A lot of people hate grouting. I love it. Okay, we're getting to the thing now, so let's can take that off now. So we'll fill that up now. It's looking good. You need to do this outside, obviously. Okay, and that should be fine. All right, so we'll leave that for a day or two, come back, and then we'll see what it looks like. Oh, and just as a footnote, when you're washing anything out, like these containers, because you can reuse them, wash them outside, don't wash them in the sink, same as grout or thin set. Don't wash them in your sink, because it'll block your drains up, and you'll end up with a very expensive bill. Okay, it's been 24 hours, I'm gonna have a look at what this gazing ball looks like, and uh, I'm gonna peel the plastic ball off. Now, as you can see, the plastic ball comes off really quite easy, and that's where the double-sided, uh, sorry, not the double-sided tape, that's where the uh, actual bifilament tape really works well, because when you're cutting a hole in it, it stops this from, uh, from just running along and tearing, so this works really well. Okay, so we'll take that out. Ugh. That aside, get rid of that. And that's it there. Oops, gonna rock and roll over. Now, where it's a little flat on top, I can, while it was curing um, and, and the concrete or was starting to harden up. I can add a bit more if you wanted to get a rise on that, but because I'm going to be using thin set, uh, I'm going to actually build it up a little bit to make it round. But it's not that critical to me anyway, uh, because the thin set will take care of any blemishes. Now you can sand it as well. If these these um, areas here, we can sand that, but you know, this is still a bit, uh, it's still curing, and concrete does take a long time to fully cure. So if I was gonna sand this, I would wear a mask and I would uh, get that kind of out there. And I may do that anyway, but as far as the building up to get the actual top on it, I would uh, just add thin set to that. So yeah, look, that just requires a bit of a sand and then I can get thin set to build up on that. This is a larger gazing ball I did the other day. It's um, curing quite nicely. It's got a hole in it. That's from the air relief valve of the plastic ball. If you don't want that hole, just cut it out like I did on this one here. Uh, but it's not a major problem because I'll fill that up with thin set. And the same with these blemishes here. I can fill that up with thin set, but I'm going to be using thin set as my adhesive on this one as well. So anyway, I hope that's helped you. If you have any comments on how to improve this or any ideas, leave them down in the comments section on YouTube so that I can see them and others can see them. And I hope you've taken something away from this and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy.